Welcome to another video tutorial. In this video, I will tell you how we can use a website that is called ITOL for creating these beautiful phylogenetic analysis trees and sequence alignments. Uh, so the actual problem with this website is that it takes only a specific format of file. Uh, so we need to upload that uh, specific format here for creating these beautiful figures. So we can use our previous software, which we have used in our last videos for creation of that file format. So uh, let's suppose uh, this is the file which we have already downloaded and we want to create a new file, file format for our analysis. So first we need to open this file into MegaX. So we can go to MegaX and open this. We can go to data and open a file session. Uh, yeah, here this is already downloaded. If you don't know how we can download this file, you can see my previous video. Make sure that uh, for selecting this, if your file is not showing here, you can just change from mega to all files so, so that your file can be visible. And uh, you can just select this and open. It will ask you to align. You can just simply click on align. So for creating a new big web file format, first you have to export this into mega file format. So here we can just save this into mega file format. Uh, let's suppose just we can name this into mega file format. Uh, we can just simply name one and uh, we can save this uh, we can uh, we can write its name as task one that's all so now we can see that our file uh, my task one is already saved so now we need to open that we can just uh, finish this and we can go to uh, here phylogeny and we can just simply click anyone which you like, like neighbor joining method. And you can here like all files. Here you can just choose your mega file and click OK. Yeah, this is a tree which you want to create its new format and you want to create beautiful figures. So uh, you can simply go to file and here it is written that export current tree as new wig format so we can click on this just go on with ok yeah it will just create a new wig file format you can simply save it here like new wig file format for task one like this is task one new wig file format and you can simply save so now we can go to that website for creating these beautiful figures yeah uh, so uh, maybe we can use any uh, option to upload our tree let's suppose we don't need to create an account because if you want to create account for file saving you can use but otherwise account creation is not needed you can just simply upload a tree you can click here yeah, it's done. Uh, you can just uh, use any name. It's just optional and you can simply choose your new big file format we have just created. Like here, we can upload. Yeah, after that, this window will be appeared. So here, now you can manipulate and create the beautiful figures like that. So let me introduce you one window that this is the basic window and basic windows have this uh, file format. So you can use rectangular. If you want to use rectangular tree format, you can use. If you want to use circular, just click here. We can see that here it is circular. And uh, if you want unrooted, yeah, here is unrooted. You, this one you can use unrooted. It's up to you. So now let's begin with its uh, 
rectangular format yeah so now if you want to uh, because here we can see that the distance is too much and if you want to ignore the length you can simply just uh, use branch length because these are called branch length you can simply ignore so it will just ignore the branch length and if you want to uh, use like this line is too small and if you want to change its color or size you can simply yeah uh, we can see that hey these are called labels and these are called branches so first we can do uh, manipulation with branches like hey we can click here simply and uh, we can use branches only this node or the whole collate so let's suppose we only want to change this node color we can just simply choose any color uh, and we can see that it's already uh, chosen and because we can see that the overall width is too low we can just increase its width yeah here we can see that and if you want to increase the this label size we can just simply increase the size yeah it's so easy and handy to use let's suppose you also want to uh, use the different color uh, for this text label uh, let's suppose we want to use different color like red we can just simply choose a red color and uh, and if we want to change the label color as well we can also change like the blue we can choose any one yeah we can see that it's already blue so uh, in this way you can use this tab to format overall structure what you need so now if we will look this circular diagram it is more beautiful than before and even you want to create and use different uh, layout like in this we can use now we can see that now it is looking beautiful and if you want to create a different color you can simply go to green like this yeah we can see all are now green it's label but going back to rectangular option uh, whatever you change uh, you want you can simply use mouse click to just zoom in or this option to zoom zoom in or out so uh, let's begin and we want to change its color like the branch color we can use and here we can change the label color we can let's in this example we can use red color anyone and if you want to like let's suppose we want to delete this one you can simply go and delete this leaf if you want because this is called a simple leaf so it is up to you how you want to change this so another if we uh, hope so now you can use this tab and if we go to next advanced tab it is used for scaling factor i mean how long you want uh, horizontal scaling and vertical scaling so we can just use uh, like it's too much we can decrease up to our own choice we can also manipulate its vertical length yeah like this it is up to you how you want to like let's suppose you want to use this or maybe it's too much uh, yeah this here you can change your font style if you want as well but going back to advanced option you can just use leaf sorting or you can also use branch length so if you will just click a branch length you can see that here a number would be visible you can increase its size yeah you can see that it's now the size is increasing and if you want to change its decimal you can also change its decimal if needed it's up to you what you want yeah like this now it's more clear but i personally don't use for this example uh we can go back and branch length we can just click a simple height so uh going back to basic 
now we can use a circular shape and if you want to save this how we can save this any format like the rectangular or the unrooted it is up to you you can simply just go and if you want to change its label you can go here and edit its label let's suppose if you think this name is too long uh, you can just use this option to change its name according to your own purpose because always uh, too long name is not recommended in phylogenetic analysis like this you can use a small name like this similarly you can change for all if needed and uh, the most important one is how we can save uh, for our later purpose so simply we can go to export options and full full image and we can choose our format like pdf or png you can use any one what you want so let's suppose in this example we can select png and we can simply click uh, export so it will take few seconds to export this file let's suppose we want to save this file format into our own choice format anyone like if you want circular you want rectangular or unrouted you can use anyone whatever you like so you can just want and if you want to just uh, save it you can simply go to export option and uh, you can select its format like here however i can choose pdf and uh, you can check margin or if you want to save it as png you can save as screen or full image and the file name you can like the task one and you can export when you will click export uh, you will get your position number like uh, your job is in the export queue, queue at position one yeah so file is successfully downloaded so let's see how it looks yeah this is the round tree which we have just exported you can use this for your manuscript submission and uh, let's suppose going back to basic and uh, if we want to use a rectangular option for this simply we can go again into export and uh, we can select its size the task one maybe now it is called task two and we can again click on export so again you will get a position yeah file is exported successfully now you can see this so we can see that this figure is looking beautiful so you can use this for uh, your manuscript submission or if you want to do further changes you can use this menu for further changes as what you have needed you can use any format hope so now you get an idea how to use this website that's all for this see you in an in another video bye bye